You guys all got it wrong. <clears throat> it was obviously DuckTales. 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 Was it Hercules? It was. Yes. It was the Mighty Hercules. Did anybody get Mighty Hercules? No, nobody got it. Hercules. Da 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 da. Hercules. Da 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 da. Might something lies. Iron in his thighs. That's the only part I know. Because it stuck with me. Iron in his thighs. Yeah. Wow, that show is old. We only got three channels, man. Yeah. We're not that old. My dad worked construction, and he would get up at, like, 4 to go to work, and that my mom on. would just get us up at the same time, I guess. Or we'd wake up, because yeah, everyone's up. really early. And, yeah, I'd watch that. Yeah. It was like, you know, even then, it was like the refuse that they only put on on the shittiest time yeah. slots. And I remember loving it, though. Yeah, I did, too. It was really intriguing. Um, all right. I remember watching it, because you had to. Hey, Herc! <laughs> <laughs> The oh, saddest yeah. part is that the only way to, like, it's really hard to find the originals. Mm. Nowadays, just about anything that you find of it is uh, a remade version. Really? That they did, like, a redraw, like a remastered. It looks kind of crappy. They kind of mm. took out a lot of awesome stuff what out of it. What a shitty childhood. <laughs> um, and they even changed the intro. Really? So, yeah. Huh, it's not weird. cool. Anyways. Last day of court. Here we go. This is the defendant lobby, all right. But there's no defendant. I've been trying to reach Lana all morning. Where could she be? Uh, in jail. She can't move. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just ask a fucking bailiff to get her. And where's Emma, for that matter? It almost seems as if... Who do you think this is? Gant. Gant, I think so, too. Something's been happening behind the scenes. Oh, Ooh. no. Edgy. Edgeworth! Bang on Gant impression. Knowing you, you've already figured it out. Who the owner of the 77777 number is? Well, I have a pretty strong... I have a pretty strong hunch. Looks like I'm not the only one who's figured it out. <laughs> you know, the only reason this trial didn't reach a verdict yesterday is because there was still room for doubt on this ID record. If that number does belong to whom you suspect, then no doubt will remain. After all, he hasn't been officially charged with anything. True. Not yet. In any event, once all doubt has been removed from that list, I can call for a ruling. On the defendant, five minutes after the trial starts, Lana will be found guilty. But she didn't do it! I figured you'd say as much, but why? I, that's why I came here, to hear what you have to say. This is the first time he's ever done something like yeah, this. Yeah. Lana's hiding something, and the only way he'll ever know the truth is to draw it out of her. What do you say? Work together, buddy? The truth? Everything goes back to the SL9 incident. Don't be stupid. Today's the last day of the trial. We don't have time to reminisce about the past. Dude, do you remember your trial? Last trial? <laughs> you know, the one where we went into the past and fixed everything? Yeah. Yep. You want to help me out on this one? Probably not. That depends on you. <laughs> if she's found guilty, you'll lose your only chance to find out what really happened. I think about it. See you in court, right? We're gonna have to be lawyer buddies. This is it. If I'm ever gonna find it, what Chief Gant has on her, it's now. Two nights in the night. I can't remember the song anymore. Huh? Black Eyed Bees. The Olympic song? Yeah. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Normally, this is when the prosecution puts forth an opening statement. 
Nah. But before that, the police chief has a proposal to make. Chief Gant! Uh-oh, he's gonna throw court topsy-turvy here. Chief Gant can materialize? <laughs> <laughs> Morning, folks! How's everyone doing? Hey, Ajee, been back to the pool yet? No, I've been drowning enough as it is in my work. Oh, that's a good one! Don't think I can top that! If you don't mind me asking, Chief, exactly what is this proposal of yours? Lana, that is to say, the defendant, has asked me if she could speak directly to the court. Uh-oh. She wants to do what? Having heard she intends to say, I feel she should be granted her request. In the end, it should save everyone a lot of time and trouble. Fuck you. Rabble rabble? Guys. Oh my god, she's gonna fucking admit to it. What's this all about, defendant? I'd just like to make one simple request and be finished. Well then, what is your request? Your Honor, I'd like you to put an immediate end to this trial. Uh... Huh? I confessed to all charges against me. You idiot. On February 21st of this year, I murdered Detective Bruce Goodman. In the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. Well, that was a quick day in court. <laughs> Guess we gotta go home. <laughs> Good day, Kurt! We're no home! help me! <laughs> you can't! Your Honor, the defendant's claim is not a charge and the defense is, does not change the defense's plea. In that case, Mr. Wright, I no longer require your so oh, God damn it. You know what? Let her go to fucking yeah. jail. Whatever, I don't man. give a shit about Whatever. her. With Lana. Ugh. Your Honor, I hereby forfeit my right to an attorney. The prosecution may lack direct evidence against me. We need your help, Edgeworth. But it has sufficiently proven that the case through my testimony and circumstantial evidence. I would like you to render your end verdict now, if you please. Edgeworth, we need you to step in here. Mm. Mm. Well, the defendant certainly has the right to self-representation. Her request is legally valid. Although, this is an unprecedented situation. Indeed, it appears that there's no further need to co continue this trial. Even if Mr. Wright may Objection? feel otherwise. This can't be happening. We can't object. No. We're, di we're dismissed. Edgeworth, though? It appears the time for the merchant has arrived. The court finds the defendant. Objection. Edgeworth. <laughs> yes. Oh. One moment, Your Honor. Mr. Edgeworth? The prosecution has not yet proven the defendant guilty beyond re reasonable doubt. <laughs> Any ruling at this stage would be certainly premature. Come now, Worthy. I understand this is a difficult time for you, but why don't you just be a good little boy and shut your mouth, hmm? Hmm. I don't think I care for your tone, Chief Gant. That's not what you what? said last night. Edgeworth got his groove back. Yeah, he, he did. Does. Creating another fabrication to cover up your past mistakes. Sorry, I am no longer the naive little boy you would have me be. Yeah. With this sudden confession from the defendant, it's obvious to me some kind of deal was struck behind the scenes. Some kind of deal? Not everyone operates as you do, Worthy. Fuck! Hmm, I thought so. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to change its first witness. Oh? To whom? Its first? Its first witness is the prosecution would like to call Miss Emma Skye. Uh-oh. I request that the court hear her testimony. Hold it! Mr. Edgeworth, I am exercising my right to self-representation. I don't think we need to continue. I don't care what you think, Miss Skye. Nice. Whoa. The exposure of the truth sometimes results in tragedy. 
However, no matter how tragic the truth may be, I would be ever great, an ever greater tragedy to avert one's eyes from it. Very well, the court shall grant the prosecution's request. Nice. That's okay with you, right, Chief Gunt? <laughs> Worthy. You'll live to regret this. Mark my words. Oh, man. Miss Emma Skye, please take the stand. Looks like Edgeworth has decided to take the horse by its re by the reins. I don't like the expression he has. I feel like it should just be like... <laughs> more teeth. Lots more teeth. Am I needed again, Your Honor? I'll just wait over here. <laughs> Objection! Not now, Mr. Wright. Okay. <laughs> every time, every time Ed, er, Edgeworth says objection now, Felix goes, objection! <laughs> I get the sign. Objection! Would you be quiet? Now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Um, my name is Emma, Emma Sky. My occupation? I'm Lena's little sister and I want to be a scientific investigator. Two years ago, you encountered the serial killer Joe Dark of the Joe Dark Killings. Is this correct? Yes. I'm trying my hardest to forget about that, though. I'm sorry. But I'm afraid... Uh. You'll, excuse me. <laughs> You'll have to recall those events one more time. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that this trial concerns the m murder of Detective Goodman. Is an incident that was resolved two years ago really all that relevant? Yes, it most certainly is. <laughs> well, okay then! <laughs> sure gave in fast. Now, please testify about what happened two, two years ago. The trip yesteryear to yesterday has finally... It's yeah. bound to lead the truth behind the trial. All right. I was waiting in my sister's office that day. A man came running in and took me hostage. Neil Marshall rescued me. But I'll never forget what I saw that instant. The man raised up his knife and, and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. That's a pretty easy contradiction right there. We have the autopsy report. In fact, does it say that specifically in the autopsy report? I hope so. It says, this one say two. In the yeah, back. Heart and lung. Died from a puncture in the heart and lung. It's a good thing you were tall. I passed out. I don't remember much. <laughs> That's understandable. However, please tell Mr. Edgeworth. What does the testimony have to do with Detective Goodman's murder? That will soon become apparent, Your Honor. You've got to admire him for his courage, considering he has no evidence. Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. I was waiting in my sister's office that day. Two years ago, the defendant had a detective at the police department, correct? Was it detective? Yes. She was second in command under Chief Detective Dan, my sister. She was the best detective ever. Hmm. Yes, I remember. Chief Detective Gant and Miss Sky used to be quite the pair. I believe they share the same office. That's right. I'd always sit at my sister's desk. and dream about playing that organ. <laughs> I wanted to play it that day, too. The police department and the prosecutor's office held a ceremony that day. Lena promised to take me to dinner after she finished her work. Man came, came running in and took me hostage. A man? Yes, Joe Dart. He was a, a serial killer. Joe Dark was brought in for questioning on the day of that ceremony. We were desperate to get anything on him that would lead to an arrest. Don't use that word at first. 
when he saw his chance, he fled the room, right? Upon fleeing the room, Doc proceeded to take an elevator. He must have been in quite a panic because the elevator was going up. Then he ran into Sky and Gant's off into Sky and Gant's office. There was a lot of noise coming outside from outside, so I opened up the door to have a look. That's what I saw. Him. Neil Marshall rescued me. What was the prosecutor doing there? That day, there were two people present during the dog's questioning. Detective Damon Gant and Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Gant was there too? Neil Marshall had received the King of the Prosecutors Award. He has a picture of it. Young and dedicated, he went straight to the questioning room after the ceremony. I assume that would be why he took the first... He was the first to run after Drake. Dog. Fuck. I always see Drake when yeah, I Yeah, me too. That. It's because of the E. When Dirk grabbed me, I thought I was as good as dead. And that's when the prosecutor Marshall came running in? I... I don't clearly remember what happened then, but... But I'll never forget what I saw that incident. Can you tell us about that? Mr. Marshall jumped on dark. Just then, the lights went out. The lights? It was just about this time of year. There was a terrible storm going on and lightning struck nearby. So the electricity went out. Wait a minute. If this was pitch dark in that room, you shouldn't have been able to see anything, right? I can't. Right. But just then, lightning flashed outside again outside. That sudden flash left an unforgettable image of the scene in my mind. I see. I told the detective about what I saw then. The detective? Yes, Detective Goodman. He was in charge of the case. Detective Bruce Goodman, the victim. Hear more? Yes. Yeah, why not? So you spoke with Detective Goodman about this two years ago? Yes. That's what's so scary about this trial. You told Detective Goodman about what you saw? Yes, but... At the time, the words just wouldn't come out. That's why I drew a picture. Picture? Yes, I think I meant she mentioned that before. Well, Mr. Wright, have you heard enough? You knew. Is it possible that the reason that that second list of evidence is being hidden is because of the picture, not because of he's trying to, like, hide the list of evidence? What's actually on the list? I think he's just trying to hide the picture, maybe. Maybe. This picture the witness drew, I believe it has a very important meaning. But the list of evidence I was given two years ago didn't contain a picture. Witness, would you mind if we added this statement to our testimony? Yes, Your Honor. You would mind? All right, don't tell it! <laughs> I drew a picture of the scene once, but it seems to have been lost. You drew a picture of the scene you witnessed, right? Yes. I wanted to do everything I could to help the investigation. I can still see it now, whenever I close my eyes. That's strange. I took over the case after Prosecutor Marshall died. Yet I never received any picture. Perhaps the witness is mistaken. But I did draw it. I swear. I'm not just imagining it. This picture Emma drew. That reminds me. I guess I should check the evidence again. Well, anyway, let's continue. The scene that is imprinted in your mind. Can you please describe it to us? The man... All right, we'll go back to that and present the picture, obviously, after we get through the rest of her statement, the last statement. Man the raised up his, up his knife and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. Which we, do we contradict this now, or do we present the picture? I think we present the picture because it says to go into the evidence. I guess we should go check the evidence. I think he was giving us a hint there. That must have been a real shock. Even though I close my eyes, I can still see it just as clearly. Are we boring you, Miss Sky? Tell us, what were you doing at that moment? I believe you testified that Joe Doug was holding you hostage. When lightning struck and the lights went out, Mr. Marshall jumped on dark. 
I was thrown aside and the two began wrestling each other. Mm. Wrestling. I'm pretty sure I was watching them. But doesn't have any reason to lie. But Leia sure does. I need to get Emma to tell me much more about this. As much about this as she can. Alright, so. Oh. Okay, yeah. Oops. I drew the picture of that one. I totally think it's that one. Both are contradictory. Yeah, so either. But I think we should go with this one. Okay. Bing, 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 bing. Oops. It has not been lost, you bitch! I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, this little girl put all her heart into drawing that picture. And yet you still insist on denying its existence? <laughs> hey, I'm not trying to be the bad guy. I'm just saying that the prosecutor for that case, I wasn't handed such a picture. <laughs> that may well be, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Behold. This is the evidence list from the SL9 incident? Please turn it over, Your Honor. Turn it over? Turn it... No! Ah! <laughs> What's this? How are these men standing on a wall? <laughs> Rotate it, please, Your Honor. My God, they're standing on the roof! <laughs> no, Your Honor. The other way. All right. Uh, yes, what is that? Hey, that's a, that's a picture I drew. Indeed. Two men appear to be wrestling here. Objection. What's the meaning of this? What are you doing with that list? Me? Uh, Only the prosecutor in charge should have access to that list. Hmm? These lists? They're... They're different from each other! What? It would appear, Mr. Edgeworth, the evidence list you were handed two years ago was incomplete. These two lists fit together to form one. You can see the marks here where they were torn from each other! So you see, Mr. Edgeworth, it's quite obvious what happened. Two years ago, only half the evidence in that case ever reached you. Jeez, don't be a dick, Phoenix. <laughs> what? Order, order! Would have thought the picture would have been drawn on the back of this list. That was handed to Detective Goodman in the questioning room. The evidence list grew two sizes that day. <laughs> Apparently Edgeworth never saw the rip marks. Alright. This has kind of turned things on its head. So when we come back, we're going to see whatever Phoenix has in mind. Who knows?